Welcome to Zonta Women's Community Radio Show. Zonta Club of New Rochelle is a service organization that seeks to improve the status of women at home and abroad. And here now is your host, Roxanne Nielsen. Hi, I am Roxanne Nielsen, your host of Zonta Women's Community Radio Show and president of the Zonta Club of New Rochelle. I would like to welcome you, our listeners, and Zonta members here in New Rochelle throughout New York State and those who may be listening in from far away. Zanta is an international organization. Chamber of Commerce CEO Margot Dorfman stated just two weeks ago that women were 32% more likely to have received subprime mortgages of all types than men, regardless of income. Women were 41% more likely than men to have received higher cost subprime loans, regardless of income. Millions of women business owners who used their home equity to secure small business loans are now at risk of losing both their homes and their businesses. For each of the last four years, more than half of the foreclosures in this neighborhood have been homes owned primarily by women. As of November 12, 2009, RealtyTrack released its October 2009 U.S. Foreclosure Market Report, which shows foreclosure filings, default notices, scheduled foreclosure auctions, and bank repossessions were reported on three 132-odd thousand U.S. properties during the month. That's a decrease of 3% from the previous month, but still up nearly 19% from October 2008. The report also shows one in every 385 U.S. housing units received a foreclosure filing in October. Live in the studio today is our guest and new Zonta member, Patricia Henderson. Today, we will unwind the foreclosure crisis and take a look at how this national issue affects women in particular. Patricia Henderson is a paralegal and has worked with borrowers, bankers, and attorneys for several years. She has a really great perspective having worked with foreclosures from the ground up and on both sides of the table, both with borrowers, lenders, and as a counselor. Now. She shares with us some of her inside information as she works with Westchester's premier nonprofit, WRO, which is Westchester Residential Opportunities. It's a nonprofit organization whose mission is to promote equal, affordable, and accessible housing opportunities for all residents of our region. I must also say that Patricia is our new, newest Santa member, and she makes a mean cheesecake. <laughs> so welcome, Patricia. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. You know, so many homeowners are realizing that their dream of home ownership has turned into like a nightmare. Uh, it's either because of a health condition, loss of a job, or just being unable to keep up with the rising cost of this debt. Many, many, maybe many more may be facing homelessness without enough money saved to even get into a rental. Over half of these homeowners are women. What are you seeing in our area? Uh, the same thing uh, from every economic area it doesn't matter what you are where you work what your uh business is ethnicity anything it's just everywhere and it's devastating are we going to see a new wave of people defaulting now as this next series of mortgages reset yes it's going to continue for a while the good news is that the banks are trying to work with you if you contact them and there are agencies like WRO that are free agencies, non-for-profit, that are willing to work with you. What are the very first steps a woman can do, take, when she feels that the water is rising over her head in the mortgage? Sit down, take a deep breath, get a piece of paper, and figure out what's going on. What are her bills? What, are, what is her income? Where is she? How far behind is she? Is the situation changing? Is she still working or not working? You have to establish where you are to decide where you can go. Because if you don't have a job, no matter what you want to do, the banks can't help you or put you on a plan if you don't have income coming in. So keeping the home is not always the best option. Not necessarily. It, it, even though you may love to in your heart, it may not be your best option, and it may not be realistic. 
So you have to look at your other options. Who can you trust? Right now, I recommend most of the non-for-profit agencies unless you run into people like myself that are out there trying to assist people and you go to public programs in the library or community centers and get information and they're not coming out asking you for a lot of money up front. Give us the number of the Westchester WRO since we're here. The main office is 914-428-4507. They also have a website. If you go to this website, it gives you information. You can download the packet, and when you download that packet, it tells you all the information you will need before you can see a counselor. You need to complete that packet, then call that number. They'll ask you what city you're located in, and they'll give you a counselor who will schedule a meeting with you. That's wonderful. Let's get that website on there. www.wroinc.org. And the telephone number again in the office? 914-428-4507. Great. Let's review, you know, each of the documents. How does it go? You're in the mortgage. You you still have your job. Let's let's look at that case scenario. And the the mortgage is reset. You can't even, you don't even know how you're going to make that bill. There are three phases as far as I know. You first in the default, the notice of default lease pendants, uh, notice of trustee sale, and notice of foreclosure. Can you take us through each step quickly? Okay, the notice of default is telling you that you're past due on your mortgage, and if it's not bought current in, it used to be 30 days, I think under the new law it might say 90 days. Yes, it did change the law. Uh, then they will forward it out for legal action to proceed with foreclosure action against the property. What do I do when I get that notice of default? You need to, like I said, get that piece of paper, look at what you're expenses are, what your income is, how far behind you are, what savings you have, realistically, what you think you can do, and if you think you can't do, put all this down on paper. Then you can go to the www.wroinc.org site, download the papers. They tell you everything you need, such as filling out a financial statement. They ask you to write a hardship letter. They need your bank statements. They need your income state, your pay stubs. They need your last two years tax returns and a few other items. They also will ask you about uh, to see your note, your mortgage, your truth and lending form, and your HUD-1. That they look at to determine if you have a subprime mortgage. So then really the first thing is to gather all of your documentation together. Hope is not lost at this point. Just Correct. because you got a notice of default doesn't mean you're going to lose your home. Correct. Okay. You can, at this point, still renegotiate the outcome. You can contact the bank and um, see if they can work with you. Now, let's go to the next case scenario. I put my head in the sand. I noticed the default came, and I just, I freaked out. I couldn't do anything. I'm a woman. I have kids in school, and everything's going on. I have to go to work every day. I just put that paper, and it's sitting in the, I still haven't opened it. What's next? You'll get a letter from an attorney that represents the mortgage company or the bank telling you that they're going to, if you don't reinstate, they're going to start foreclosure action. After that expires, you will receive a summons and complaint from a process server telling you that they're starting foreclosure action. And if they serve you in person, you have 20 days to respond. If they serve you substitute service or by mail, you have 30 days to respond. Is all hope lost at this point? No. I still can get all my documentation together, sit down with a counselor, and negotiate, take charge of this situation. I still have the opportunity to do that. You point. have that up until actually the day of the foreclosure sale. Okay. But to get back to the counseling, right. the one thing I didn't mention is that in order for WRO to help you, you have to be in the arrears. You cannot, some people are struggling. Right. And they're calling because they're struggling. And as much as we understand that, the concept is to keep people in their houses. So they're dealing with people that are behind, not that they're current and struggling and running out of money. They've already ran out of money. And the truth is, is the banks uh, are making money on you. If you pay in late, they're charging with those fees. They're making money. As long as you're still paying, no one can really step in to mediate for you. Is that right? Not an agency, correct. Most of the agencies are only dealing with 
There are a couple agencies that might, but for the most part, because of the volumes, right. they're dealing with people that are already delinquent, that are already um, getting notices or summons and complaints. And to be delinquent, you only have to miss two months. Is that correct? One month, two months, 90 behind? days, three 90 months. Days, three months. Three before months. they usually start legal action. So we're past the lease pendants, and we're getting now this notice of trustee sale and notice of foreclosure sale. What's the difference of NTS and NFS? What's the difference? Notice of foreclosure, foreclosure sale. sale and notice of trustee sale. Uh, depends on the states. Okay. In New York, it's notice of foreclosure sale. Okay. Um, there's a whole litigation process that starts with the summons and complaint. Mm -hmm. After that, um, they have 120 days to serve everybody involved, which is all the other people named in the caption besides yourself. Any persons that might be interested that they have a second mortgage, you might have a car loan, anybody that might be interested in your house going to foreclosure sale. Once all the, everybody has been served and responded, you then, there's what they call the um, order of reference. And the order of reference goes to court, and while that, when that's done, it appoints, the judge appoints a referee to that case. Now the referee is on my side, on, on the bank side, who's the referee? Legal Refer side. Okay. Court side. Court side. They are the ones who will ultimately conduct the foreclosure sale. So in the, all this time, a normal, in normal times, in good times, foreclosure in New York, which is a litigated state, takes nine months to a year. In difficult times, it can take upwards to two, two and a half years. Okay. So there's, there is an element of just the, the wheels of bureaucracy do turn slowly. And because of that, you have time to gather your thoughts, your paperwork, and get your position uh, so that you can... Can meet this. It's you not an oh, it's not an obstacle that can't be overcome. Correct. But the sooner you get started, the sooner you are. Because right now, there when you come to these agencies, they're trying to get you modifications. Through the president, there's a new modification to HAMP, Home Mortgage Affordable Home Affordable Mortgage Program. Okay, that's HAMP. And that's what you see them talking about on the news and in the newspapers. Prior to that, there's always been modifications that the banks would give you. So. The thing about it is when you're applying for all these things, it moves very slowly. Now, do you go, is the, sometimes I, I know that, um, you know, when you talk to your bank, you don't seem to get a, a, a lot of uh, warm and fuzzy feeling when you're asking for these programs. So do you really need to have an advocate working with you? If you've been turned down to the bank, you could go to the bank on your own. If they've turned you down, definitely go to a, an agency. Definitely go to the agency. And this packet that we've t I've told you to download, mm -hmm. all those documents are what we would need to prepare a package to send to that mortgage or bank for you. It's all the information that they're required. Very good. You would follow up. We also would follow up on your behalf. Let's give that website one more time. The website is www.wroinc.org. And I just want to interject one thing. Once you've been served with a summons and complaint, um, before it was just on subprime, you end up having a conference at the court with the bank and their attorney and your, if you have an attorney or your counselor. Um, the new law was passed that is going to be open to prime and subprime. Everybody will be entitled to this conference. When you go, if when you have these conferences, you really need to have your paperwork together because they may offer you some type of a temporary payment plan or talk to you about it so you need to know and be prepared where you stand right also even if you're in the arrears on your mortgage try to start saving some money so that when they put you on a temporary plan which they do before they give you a full modification it usually could be three months it could be six months it could be two different three-month plans they will be much lower than what you're paying but that doesn't ultimately be ultimately mean that's what the payment will be for the rest of the term rest of the term but the goal is to reduce the interest rates on a lot of these plans you know patricia henderson of the wro westchester residential opportunities a nonprofit. patricia has a lot of good information please take charge of the situation it's a new year women in business women homeowners this is for you i'm roxanne nielsen from Zonta Women's Community Radio, being all things fair and square, and we'll see you on the radio next month.